What's going on YouTube? Back here in the indoor grow room yet again this week. We got lots of stuff growing on in here and it's getting quite big. Everybody's getting nice and tall. Um, one awesome note right off the bat. I don't know if this is going to show up or not, but I don't know if you can actually see that. My very first pod, uh, my very first indoor pod, or my very first pod of this year. I don't know if you can actually see that, but we actually have some peach color coming on to one of the Sugar Rush peach. The rest of these guys are pretty yellow. These guys all over here. But this one in the back actually looks like it's got some peach on there. I'm looking in the viewfinder. I don't think that it's actually showing up very good. But, I mean, we got tons of pods on this thing already. There's another one right there. There's another one right back there. Got pods everywhere, all over the place. But, oh, here's another one right here. Oh, yep. Okay. <laughs> Thought I lost that pod. It's not even on that branch. It's actually on a whole different branch. But, um... Yeah, they're doing quite well. We still have this giant little mess right over here hanging out on off of there. I keep folding it over onto itself like that, trying to, you know, get it some more light so it's not hanging out like that, but eh, it's going to do what it wants to do. Uh, but if you saw yesterday's video, we had a lot of these guys. Um, I was about to pick them out. I rearranged them yesterday. I cannot pick them out. But a lot of them were very droopy. They were like down here droopy and all curled up and stuff. And look at them go today. They are just looking great. Um, and not only that, but a lot of them, like this guy right over here, we have now forked. We've got buds starting to pop off. Got this guy right back here, forked. Buds popping off. Got one bud right there in the middle of that crotch. Uh, another little guy. Look at this little guy right there. Forked right there. Looking great. Another guy right here. Forked. Look at that. Beautiful. Uh, tons and tons of stuff going on over here. Look at that guy back there. Tons of buds all over the place. Oh, look. There's another pot I missed. And everybody is looking very, very nice. That's why I like to give them water right before I actually shoot. Remember these big old guys over here? They were all droopy and everything. Look, they're pointed right up. Well, I shouldn't say pointed right up. But they are sticking up pretty decent right there. Looking all awesome. So I guess we should hop right in here. Start looking at um, who is who and all that stuff. And I'm going to go ahead and mount you on a tripod over there. And we'll check out who everybody is. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to try not to go as long as yesterday's video. That was a record for me, by the way. And, yeah, I don't intend to break that for a little while anyway. So, let's hop right into this, shall we? Alrighty. On the tripod yet again. So let's hop right into here and... Let's not waste too much time. I'm going to try to make this a much shorter video than yesterday's video. Another one of my awesome cup huggers. Uh, well, that's eh, not really a cup hugger. That would be more like a cup hugger. That would be, that would be, a blah, blah, blah. But this is one of my ones that are eh, short and compact, so to say. And, ooh, this is a butch, or a butch, a boot orn co uh, ah, I cannot even talk. A boot orange Copenhagen crossed with pineapple, and it is looking great. We're about to fork, not yet, but pretty dang close. Yeah, I guess it's not what I really like with my compact style, but close enough. How about this guy? That is what I'm talking about, where you really can't see the, uh, the cup itself. And, I don't think this is going to show up, but right here we've got purple on the leaves there. Oh, I think i got some fungus gnats in there. Weird. Actually, almost every single leaf on here, like this leaf right here, has um, purple. It's green, but you can see like purple bleeding through. Very cool. Uh, and this guy, Ahi Jabito. Heck yeah, man. We are Ahi rich this week, or this season. And we are getting darn close to forking on that guy. This little guy over here, I don't know what's going on with this guy. It's laying down on the job. And, yeah, this 
this is the one that has been laying down on the job. As you can see, it's actually starting to pop right back up and everything. Looking very, very nice. And this guy is an ahi pineapple. And this little guy right here that is now just recently started uh, laying down on the job. The one thing that makes me concerned about this guy is if you look at the actual stem itself, because yesterday I did my whole thing where I like to uh, stand it up tall and kind of like, you know, compact the soil a little bit. That way it will stand up. And as you can see, it's not doing that. But um, this is another ahi pineapple. But uh, yeah, this guy is not doing that. So A, I think one of my biggest problems, I don't have a fan. So I definitely, uh, all my fans were out in the greenhouse and I lost a lot of my fans. So I had like, how many did I have? One, two, three, four, at least four different fans. And uh, yeah, now I'm down to, two or three. I don't know, but I lost that one main. Here's another ahi pineapple. Kind of, uh, uh, kind of, I don't know. I like to call it leggy, but that's not really leggy. It's just not, you know, it doesn't have the support it needs. But, uh, yeah, another ahi pineapple. Um, I'm betting another pineapple right here. No, this is an ahi jibito. By the way, how much water did you consume? Eh, still is a little... But that one's looking not too bad. <laughs> uh, who else do we have? The Kangstar White Tie. Looking very, very nice. Starting to get some true leaves on there. All, yes, all four of them getting uh, their very first true leaves. Looking very, very nice. Here is another one. Another one I decided to just lay down on the job, man. Just starting to hang over. I bet this is another pineapple. It is. Ahi pineapple, looking half decent. How about this little guy right here, man? Just forked for the very first time. Right here, we've got one, one, two, three, four, wait, one, two, three, four, yeah. At least, I know, there's a fifth one trying to start, but we got uh, five little buds trying to start right off there. That is one of my Quiero Cream, and that, is another one that you can see whenever you look at it that way. Um, it is not uh, showing the cup off. And another uh, crazy thing that I wanted to mention was this year, most years in the past, I have really suffered from edema. This year, I don't think I have one single plant that has edema. So, I don't know, maybe stressing your plants might be the way to go because I don't have anything like that. Ah, didn't even realize I had two of these. Another boot, uh, boot orange Copenhagen crossed with pineapple. And this guy is just getting ready to start uh, forking right there. And looking very nice. And again, everybody is looking absolutely perfect. Uh, shows what, you know, giving your plants water will do. Got a leaf over here. I don't know where that came from. I'm not going to question it. Um, another guy, look at this guy, man. Looking really, really nice. Very nice. And this is an Ahi Jabito. Need to take off a couple of these leaves here. These lower leaves. I always take off lower leaves. What does it matter anyway? It's not like they're getting late anyway. And one more. Boop. Bang. There we go. I like to think that that will promote some growth. Um, who is this guy? Because this is the one I showed off right there off the bat. It's another one of those ones where you can't see the cup. And this guy forked right there. We've got a bud right there in the center. We've got another bud over here on the right hand or the left hand side uh, fork. And one on the left hand side. Okay. The left hand side and the right hand side, not the two left hand sides. And that's another Ahi Jibito. Looking absolutely fabulous. Oh, yeah. Who else do we got back here? How about this little guy? Kind of spindly looking. It's got a lot of uh, leaves popping off on there. A lot in a short amount. I kind of don't like when they do that, but eh, what are you going to do? Uh, this is a yellow Naga Brain. 
and it's got a couple extra leaves, too many. So we're going to get rid of eh, just that one. But not too bad. You can see where I pinched uh, the leaf over here. That's why it's all deformed and everything. I pinched it with another cup. But other than that, I mean, I don't know. I think it's growing a little bit too much. So if I actually would mix up my master blend, my strawberry blend, and uh, if I did that and in different fashions, like, what did I do yesterday? 3.1, 2.6, 2.1. Instead of doing that, maybe this plant probably should have got maybe a 2.8. I'm guessing here, people. 2.8, uh, uh, 2.8, uh, or wait, back up. Master blend of 2.8, 2.1, 1.5 ish maybe that would help this guy out a lot but i didn't do that so we're gonna pretend i didn't even say anything so here's another little awesome compact guy all right i should have known by the way it's looking uh because we have one whole plant right here to the left one whole plant to the right that's my kiro cream and it is looking great look at this you can see the inside view looking great. Look at those green, green leaves. They are like really, really green. They are like, uh, you know, plant green down here. And the closer you get to the very top, they are like green, green, green. I'm gonna pop a couple of these leaves off here. Why do you pop a couple leaves off? Because I can, because I, uh, that's just something I like to do. The lower leaves aren't really that important because they're not really getting that much light so you kind of want to promote growth on the top but that guy is looking great who else do we have here oh look at this guy it's got to be an ahi because look how tall and spindly it is but yet lots of growth right there up on the top ahi lemon drop don't pinch the leaf when you put it back down actually that leaf is gonna go actually that leaf wanted to go and yeah, it kind of seems like it's a little flimsy, but not that big of a deal. Ahis tend to be that way, uh, a little bit flimsy, if you will. Um, another guy, we're going to pop a couple of leaves off of this guy. We should call this like the pop, uh, popping leaves off uh, version of the update. And I'm going to drop this one too. Why? Because I can this little guy is Nahi Jabito, and yes, it's another one that, uh, yeah, kind of seems to be swaying in the wind. Let's see if we can fix that a little bit with popping down some soil. Nope, not really. Eh, a little bit, but not so much. Who else do we got here? Another Ahi. It's got to be. And I pinched, if you missed that, I pinched this leaf in a cup. That's why it looks all deformed. So that's one good reason to get rid of that leaf. And I'm going to get rid of that leaf just because I got rid of the other one. Um, who are you? Ahi Mango. Looking great. Let me see if I can give you a little packed down soil thing. Uh, yeah, do a little bit of help, but not too much. We're getting very close to forking up here. Not yet, though. How about this little guy? Oh, yeah, that one. That one doesn't need a fan, does it? Um, that wasn't a question. Um, this is Nahi Jabito, and it's got a pow. It still has true leaves, or uh, first leaves on here, which I'm going to get rid of right now. Bang! First leaves gotten rid of. Actually, I'm going to get rid of this leaf, too. Bang! Look at that. Looking beautiful. About to start forking. And again, all of these guys are going to go outside very very shortly oh man look at this guy that guy doesn't need a fan right there and if you notice we've got brand new growth popping out right there we've got brand new growth right there there these two leaves are going to come off right now actually these three leaves yeah look at that Bang. those leaves are all gone looking absolutely beautiful pretty pretty waxy leaves uh going on on there looking Beautiful. Another one. Gotta be an ahi. Actually, we're gonna take this lower leaf off of there. Because I'm in the drop in the leaf mode right now. Why not? Another ahi mango. Looking absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Nice and tall. 
a lot of distance between the uh, leaves and everything, but that's what ahis like to do. And we're about to fork, so that will be fun. I'm gonna pause one second. Glad I paused. The battery is about to die. Um, another little beautiful little guy, ahi mango right there, looking absolutely awesome. Another little, oh, that one, ugh, I kind of don't like it when they do that, but what are you going to do? Ahi Jibito, looking great, and drops a couple leaves off of this guy, just for the heck of it, and now it's kind of leaning over. Well, it'll come back. And, alright, yeah, might as well change the battery. I don't know why my camera doesn't, uh, I know I turned it off when I first got the camera, but I don't know why it doesn't display a record thing at the beginning, or at the, uh, on the front side of the camera right there. Normally I turn that off because, I don't know, if you caught a bunch of my videos in the past where we were out shrimping and we were pulled over by law enforcement, even though we weren't on the water, we were pulled over by my marine patrol. I don't want them to actually know that the camera's still recording. You know, that kind of thing. But, uh, you know, for my own protection. But I turned it off on this camera, and before I started, I tried to figure out how to turn it back on, and I can't remember how to do it. So, it's not on there. I don't like this leaf at all. Oh, this leaf's coming off. Sorry, buddy. I don't like that leaf. But here's another one. Ahi Lemon Drop. Got brand new growth right here on the very bottom. Look at that. It looks like a brand new plant starting to pop right off. Just pulled, what was it? This leaf right here off. And we've got a nice little canopy. It just forked right up here. So, oh, we do have a bud right there, another bud right there, and another bud right there. So we got buds popping right off on that guy. Another little guy right over here which is an ahi mango, uh, just for the heck of it. We're popping leaves off. Pop this uh, leaf off the bottom right there. Looking great. Not a lot of leaves all over here, but still looking great. About to fork. Um, who else do we got? Right back here. Yeah, actually, this guy could use a few leaves dropped off of there. And if you're wondering why are you pulling leaves off your plant, um, I like to do that just to encourage more growth on the top. The bottom leaves really aren't going to get uh, a lot of light, especially when you see a plant like this, where most of the light is going to be hitting these outer leaves and not really getting to the underside. So what's the point of having those little tiny leaves that were first leaves and all that stuff? This one is another Ahi Jibito, another, uh, I wouldn't call it a cup hugger, but you d almost can't see the cup whenever you're holding it up above. Another guy, another ahi right here. Uh, what the heck, we're in the mood. Might as well like pop these bottom two leaves off. Not because they look bad, but because I feel like it. Another ahi lemon drop. Look, new growth popping right off. Looks like a whole new plant. Got new growth on these two crotches and this one. So they should be coming back whoops, with a vengeance. Um, this little guy, ah, heck with it, I'll do two, I was going to do one, but we're going to do two. Ahi Mango, looking great, and actually it's feeling like it needs water, because <laughs> it's almost completely empty. I fed it yesterday. Who else do we got back here? Another Ahi, definitely Ahi Mango, look at this brand new growth right here, looking great kind of new stuff. We got new growth popping out on the crotches there. Everything's looking great up top. We have, ooh, it is just starting to fork. I can see um, two different forks just starting to pop off right on the very, very top. Oh yeah, very encouraging. And all these guys are going to be going outside very, very shortly. Another one, uh, it when they're all waggy like that. That's a new term for peppers, waggy. Because when they do that, that's waggy. Um, who are you? Sugar Rush Peach. Oh, man. That doesn't make me happy. Um, Sugar Rush Peach over here. Come on. Get down in. Quitter. What are you doing? 
Um, this thing forked way down here, and it is about, it's forking again right up here, it's forking again right there, it's forking again right there, it's forking again right there, and again right over there. Got buds popping off all over the place, and it is looking awesome. I'm going to set that right back there. Oh man, that makes me mad. Um, another, I'm going to say Sugar Rush Peach, it is. And that one forked right here, forked again right here, forked again right here, it forked again right here, uh, and forked again right here. So it's well on its way. We got buds all over the place. I can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Only eight? One, two, three. No, no, there's way more than that. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. There's four right here in this area. Fifteen. There's fifteen buds on this thing already, and it's only that big. And it's got a woody stock already, which is one of my favorite things once they start getting their woody stock. How about this little guy? Pick any uh, leaves off that one. I think I did yesterday. Ahi Mango. Look at that guy. Looking great. Nice woody stock. We got new leaves starting to pop off right there and here. Uh, and in between every single crotch. The bottom two at least. Yep. This one too. Not that one. And it's nice and tall, but no, it's not about the fork just yet. It's going to in a minute, but not quite yet. Another little guy. Who do we got here? Not a trinny. Oh, this is my mystery pepper. I have no clue what this pepper is. And it's tall and it's lanky, so maybe it's going to be an ahi. I don't know. Maybe my lights were too high. We'll find that out very shortly. And it is just now forking. I don't know if that's picking up, but right here at the very top here, uh, instead of two leaves popping up, we have four leaves popping up. And it is just about to start forking. Next little guy, another ahi. Ahi Lemon Drop. Bang, we got brand new growth right here on the bottom. That's why I like to pull some of the uh, lower growth. And uh, that thing did fork. Look at that. It forked uh, right up here. Well, right here. And we've got, uh, what? One, two, three, four, five, six... Well, at least six uh, buds starting right here on the very top. Absolutely beautiful. Another little guy. Look at that, man. Big old woody stock on that thing, man. Looking great. Another ahi mango. We're going to drop this leaf. Why not? And by the way, if you're going to drop, um, or as I say, drop the leaves, what I suggest is take the, the leaf and pull downward that usually will just pop the leaf right off. Uh, instead of, you know, trying to pull it right off, usually you'll just yank the plant to the side and all that stuff. Pause. Sweet, we've got all kind of battery left. All right, another little guy right here. Um, here, I'll show you on this one because I feel like pulling a couple more leaves off here. What I like to do is just grab the leaf and pull down like that, and it just pops right off. Whereas if you try to pull up, usually you'll pull the plant out of the cup. If you, I don't know, if you try to do a bunch of different other methods, usually you'll end up messing the plant up. This is a sugar rush, and it forked way down here. And it forked again right here. It forked again right here when it came up. Wait, where am I at here? No, it forked again right up here. It forked again right here. I mean, yeah. Once they start forking, it, there is nothing that you can do to keep them from forking. They are a forking machine. Anyway, here's another one. I'm going to drop these lower two leaves. And I've seen a lot of people that say, never take the leaves off by hand. Never take the pods off by hand. I am pretty much 100% uh, I do everything by hand. I, I appreciate that they're giving everybody the advice that you should always snip them off. That is a very good idea. So I'm not discounting that their advice is bad. I just never do it. 
Uh, the way I do it, I usually, like with the pods, like this guy right here, if that pod was ready to harvest, I would take the pod, like pretty much like by the stem, and I would lift that thing up and over until it snapped right off. I don't grab it and yank. That's what they're talking about. When you grab and yank, you will like rip off this entire branch here. And now you have like an invalid, you know, part of your plant. But if you do it opposite of the way they're growing, they're growing up. So if you grab them and pull down, usually, hopefully, you will actually only take off the leaf and you will not rip off half the plant because I have done that. I've seen that before a lot where you will grab this uh, leaf and you want to take this one off and you'll grab it and pull and you'll just rip the plant right down the stem. So just a little heads up there. It's got to be sugar rush right here, right? Sugar rush. Look at that. Forked right down here. Forked again right here. Forked again right here. Forked again right up here. And forked again over there. So this guy is coming on real good. Look at that. What do we have right here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Right here in, where my finger is. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Just on this small branch right there. Ten buds. Just on that one. And then I've got one, two, three, four, and a dead one. It's a dead one, right? Yep. So I got four more right over here. I've got one, two, three, four, right there, just on this little tiny branch. And one, two, three, four, five, just on this small little crotch. So yeah, they will do their thing if you let them do their thing. All right, let me go ahead and move the camera just slightly. Back. That should be good enough right there, right? Yeah, one can hope. All right. Now, we only got five more plants, people, man. It's not going to take that much longer. This little guy right here, again, bang. And again, pull downward. This one, that was one of the ones I was showing yesterday where it was all pulling down and curly and everything. The top leaves are, but if you notice, it is tall and lanky, forked right here. We've got a crotch over here, another one over here. Looking very nice, sugar rush, gotta be. Ahi mango, I am so wrong, but whatever. And now it's like leaning, what the heck? Why don't I have a fan in here? I already explained that. But anyway, next one, this one's gotta be sugar rush. And look at that guy. Doesn't matter how tall it is, it just wants to live. What are the roots like on this guy? Just barely coming out of the cup. Barely. Look at that. And there's a couple of them. Got some right there. Why are they coming out right there? Some right there. That was a dead root. Look at that. Barely any kind of roots hanging out on the bottom there. And the cup is absolutely dry. I fed it last night. You watched me. Ahi mango. Dang, I was going to say uh, sugar rush again. But that's an ahi mango. I think now we're going to get in the sugar rush. Another guy. Again. Yeah, not a big deal, man. That's another ahi mango. What the heck's going on, man? All the ahi mangoes are the biggest ones. I thought the sugar rush were. With this guy. I think this one's going to be a leaner. It is. Look at that. It's leaning. Leaning, leaning. And look at this leaf. I fed it yesterday. It's already curled up and everything. And cup is... Okay, it had four drops in it. <laughs> All right, I was a little wrong on that one. Roots barely sticking off the bottom. Barely. I mean, just... I have more roots on some of the smaller plants. But they're anahi. They like to uh, grow all tall and everything. Oh, look at that. It likes to drop that leaf. Whoops. Uh, but whatever. All right. Uh, and last but not least, this one's got to be a sugar rush. It is a sugar rush. Look at me. 
I know my plants. I was wrong about those three or four or five or seven or whatever, but I was right about this one. So that makes me a plant expert. Um, but this one, woody stock all the way up to here. Then it has like a green stock. We got new growth popping off right there. New growth right here on the crotch. It forked right here. New growth popping out right here on the crotch. Look at that. It forked. I mean, there's so much new growth right here on the little crotch that it forked again, even though it forked right here where the growth is coming out. New growth forked. And then it came up, it forked again right here, and forked again right here, forked again right there. I mean, this thing is just going nuts. We've got, how many, I don't know. I'm not even gonna count all the buds we've got all over there. We got buds up here, 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 all over the place. They're looking great. It was awesome. You were here, you saw it. Well, let me just go ahead and put some of these guys back because I need to. And again, I don't have a fan and uh, a lot of these guys are supporting themselves. So once they actually go outside, uh, they're probably going to go into some kind of shock where they're going to actually have to, you know, do their own thing and hold themselves up. But that's on them. That's not my problem at that point, right? right check the camera angle you know because i'm a big videographer and all that crap but anyway that was it all the plants looking great look at that guy that's one of my favorites right there and again it's a sugar rush i love sugar rush they're one of my favorite plants to grow those things grow like crazy and there goes the lights let me turn that on Find the light. There it is. All right. Um, yeah. Anyway, that was it. We were in here checking out all the different plants that were growing on inside the indoor grow room and uh, checking them all out. And they're doing great. They're all going to be going outside very, very shortly. Uh, when? I don't know. Um, that will be determined at a later date. And of course, there'll be a new video for that once that uh, actual determination actually happens. Um, technically, I could do it right this second. They all could go outside right now and everything would be A-OK. -okay. Um, <clears throat> it's... A drink over here. It... Uh, it has been very, very, <clears throat> very, very nice. Look at that guy, man. Look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. You can't even see the cup. And that is some foliage right there, man. That's what I like to see right there. That's the only thing I don't like about the ahis, is I like to see that kind of uh, production going on. Um, but back to when are they going to go outside? I'm not exactly sure. I you every year I do it different and I try to do it different on purpose. Um, some years I like to do it before certain things happen. Some years I like to do it on purpose. I don't know. I like to do it. Uh, uh, camera's about to die. Um, some years I like to do it uh, at certain times, certain intervals, whatever. Uh, things happen and some years I like to uh, not do it then and uh, I don't know I like to mix it up we'll just put it at that I like to see what will happen whenever I do stuff and I like to see what the results are and then base what I'm gonna do next year on what happened this year so yeah there's my long and short answer on that one but anyway um, yeah, they're all pretty much back in here. Good enough, good enough, good enough. Bang! Good. All right. Another check on the camera because that battery is about to die. It's A-OK -okay for this second. Um, thanks for hanging out with me. This was my super hot peppers, mostly ahis, that are growing on in here. They are compact. They are very close together. They are doing their thing. And, uh, yeah. They are looking pretty daggone awesome. And, uh, yeah, like I said, they're going to go outside, but 
I'm not going to do that right this very second. I like to give them a little bit of time and, uh, yeah. Who knows? Pause.